Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am Danish and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel, hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. The preparation for Iraq's currency reform is intensifying, as authorities are taking steps to address the vast amount of currency still in circulation outside formal banking channels. The project to delete the zeros is a central piece of this reform, aiming to bring value and purchasing power back to the dinar. Those holding large amounts of money will need to bring their currency into the banking system, but the critical question remains, what incentive will they have to do so? The incentive will likely be tied to a new, more favorable exchange rate that adds real value to their holdings. This process is part of a larger effort to stabilize Iraq's currency and bring it in line with international standards, allowing the dinar to better compete on a global scale. China's dominance in the Iraqi market continues to grow. In 2024 alone, China's exports to Iraq exceeded $65 billion, according to the Chinese Customs Authority. This economic influence is part of China's broader strategy to solidify its presence in Iraq, both as a trading partner and as an investor in key sectors like infrastructure, energy, and agriculture. China's growing role in Iraq's economy underscores the need for Iraq to diversify its trading partners and reduce reliance on a single dominant foreign power. At the same time, Iraq's accession to the World Trade Organization WTO, is seen as a vital step in this direction. Joining the WTO will open the door to new business opportunities, attract more foreign investment, and create jobs, boosting Iraq's economy and connecting it more effectively with global markets. The planning for Iraq's national population census is another key development. The completion of operations related to the census has exceeded 90% according to recent reports. Work is expected to be fully completed by the end of this month, with the exception of the three governorates in the Kurdistan region, Erbil, Suleymaniyah, and Dohuk, where technical delays have slowed the process. The completion of the census is crucial for accurate population data, which will help in the allocation of resources, planning of public services, and implementation of economic policies. It is also seen as a foundational step in Iraq's broader reforms, including the currency revaluation project. Ernst Young, one of the world's leading professional services firms, has been heavily involved in Iraq's monetary reform process alongside the CBI and the U.S. Treasury. The firm's deep involvement in the process has led to the creation of a series of recommendations on banking reforms which are expected to be approved by the Council of Ministers soon. These reforms will further solidify the financial system in Iraq, making it more transparent and effective. Their involvement signals that time is running out for Iraq to implement these critical reforms, as the pressure from both international and domestic actors continues to mount. There are also reports that high-level international financial players or Wales, have been called in, signalling that significant financial developments may be on the horizon. Sources have expressed optimism that this week could bring major news regarding Iraq's currency situation. These rumours, combined with ongoing reports of progress in currency reform, have raised hopes that Iraq is on the verge of a major financial shift. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's upcoming visit to the Middle East next week adds to the anticipation, as many believe his presence could coincide with key announcements regarding Iraq's economic future. Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani has called on the House of Representatives to vote in their president. The optics of having all three presidencies, the President, Prime Minister, and Speaker of the House, fully in place is seen as crucial if Iraq is to revalue its currency. A united government with clear leadership is essential for projecting stability, both domestically and internationally. 
Such stability is necessary as Iraq seeks to join the WTO and solidify its position on the global stage. Mr. Sami, a key figure in Iraq's monetary reform, has highlighted the recent establishment of cash deposit centers as a significant development. These centers, which have been licensed by the CBI and supported by the U.S. Treasury, are designed to collect the currency that citizens have been hoarding outside the banking system. This move is seen as the first step in the deletion of the zero notes, which will bring greater value to the dinar and allow for more effective currency management. By offering citizens an avenue to deposit their currency in a formal setting, the government hopes to reduce the amount of currency in circulation and bring more stability to the financial system. The stability of the dollar exchange rate in Baghdad, Basra, and other regions, including Kurdistan, is improving. Banks and financial institutions are beginning to align their operations with the new policies set forth by the CBI and the U.S. Treasury. Some financial institutions are even expecting significant developments as early as the next business day, with possible changes in the exchange rate or other key financial indicators. This progress is seen as a positive sign for the broader reform efforts. The Development Road Project a major infrastructure initiative, is expected to provide Iraq with substantial investment opportunities. The project consists of land and railway routes extending from Iraq to Turkey, covering a length of 1,200 km within Iraq. This road network is designed to facilitate the transport of goods between Europe and the Gulf countries, positioning Iraq as a key trade hub in the region. The project is expected to boost economic activity, create jobs, and enhance Iraq's regional trade relationships. The government is also hard at work preparing the 2025 budget. Al Atwani, head of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, confirmed that meetings have already begun to structure the budget items and ensure that the necessary financial and legal frameworks are in place. The budget is expected to be presented to the House of Representatives early next year, marking a crucial step in Iraq's efforts to stabilize its economy and implement its investment plans. Important draft laws, including the Securities and Commodities Law, the Banking Studies Centre Law, and the Islamic Sukuk Investment Law, are being reviewed and amended to ensure that they meet the needs of Iraq's evolving financial land escape. Workshops are being organized to discuss these laws comprehensively, with the aim of involving all concerned parties and benefiting from previous experiences.